Hello peeps, Jordan is great 505 here. Today I wanted to talk about a uh, discussion that I see in the gaming space about if gaming is fun anymore or why it isn't fun anymore. The reason I wanted to make this video is because just recently in my YouTube recommended I saw a video that kind of bothered me. This is the video that came up. We're already off to a bad start and this is why it bothered me. The thumbnail just says, shut up. So we already know that the people who are defending the state of gaming right now are just, you know, just telling anyone who disagrees to shut up, be quiet, do not talk about the issues of gaming, you're not allowed to. So we're already off to a bad start, and it just shows these people do not want to have a discussion about it. They just want people who do not like these games to shut up. And that really bothered me. And then this video is kind of just like this one over here, which has the same thing. It's like, okay, you're just telling people who disagree with you, shut up. You're not, it's like, it just goes to show that these people do not want to have an actual discussion on it or make any good defenses for the state of gaming right now. They just want to tell people who, you know, don't like it to just shut up. And, you know, just, it, it says a lot. And I also kind of find it funny they use thumbnails of other, like, why isn't gaming fun anymore videos. And in those videos, they kind of come to the similar conclusion as they do. So, it, it's just... It's already stupid. And I feel like a lot of people who talk about this always miss the mark on it. Or they do not want to talk about the real issues at hand. Something I also commonly see in these discussions is one of the biggest gaslights of gaming of all time. And that is these people saying, Oh, gaming isn't bad anymore. We just grew up! Woo! And it bothers me because it's, it's an obvious gaslight. Gaming was better back in the day. Everything about modern game design is based around monetization. It's based around like very static gameplay it's not based around fun fun is not the focus anymore that's why games aren't fun anymore it has nothing to do with growing up and i'm so tired of people gaslighting me and telling me oh it was always bad or you were just a kid and you just it's, it's like you know i played black ops 2 like for the first time last year and i enjoyed the hell out of it oh i, I would are you going to call me nostalgia blind because obviously i'm not I had no former connection to it. And just recently, Helldivers has came out. Lethal Company, uh, Power World, so many of these indie successes have came out. And it has pleased the same people who weren't having fun with gaming. They've been saying that, oh, this is the, f like, the most I've had fun with gaming in years. So tell me, is it really that we just grew up? Or is it that games really aren't being made for actual good reasons nowadays, and that a lot of these AAA companies are doing it for monetary reasons. Obviously, there's a point to be made that you shouldn't, like, obviously you shouldn't want to focus just on AAA games, of course. I agree with that. I, I mean, I'm still playing Halo in the year 2024, play mods and stuff. I'm still playing, like, I'm not really playing any of these AAA games, so I completely agree with you. Don't give these people money, they don't deserve it. I haven't bought any of the COD games in, like, years, because I don't, you know, I don't want to give support that stuff. But I feel like that's also overshadowing the issue. Like, it's like, you're pretty much... I, I feel like a lot of these people are just saying, oh, just don't, just play indie, just ignore AAA. It's like, that doesn't solve the issue. You're just ignoring it and not, you're just pretending it doesn't exist. These AAA games should be better. They shouldn't be unfinished slop that's made just for profit. And it's like, you know, it, it just feels like these people are denied. They just don't, like, they enjoy eating the slop and they don't want people to complain about it. So they're like, oh, just go do something else. That doesn't solve the issue. You're just allowing the crappy state that we're in to keep going on. And I guess to add some more proof to my point about the monetization being the focus of above all else, above all fun. Let's look at how these games are designed. Here's Fortnite. Here's the challenge system, the quest system. 
This is how you level up and get stuff for the battle pass, which a battle pass is just a paid for progression system. Filled with filler content. Now let's look at all these challenges, right? And really, what are the rewards for this? Damage with legendary weapons. Uh, 55k XP. That's what you get. Destroy mailboxes. Wow, what a challenge. Fine car parts. Assault rifle eliminations. Reboot teammates. Now, here's the thing about these challenges. Do these seem fun to you? Or does it feel more like a job? More like a checklist that you just complete so you can level up? This is why people say that gaming feels like a job, because it, this is how it's designed. It's designed like a checklist, like you're being told by your boss. Well, you better spend $20 on the latest bundle. And you better do your quests to unlock your latest slot battle pass. Now, now let's uh, compare this to how challenges were done in the old days. I mean, in, now, in new games, you, you just level up your battle pass to get a new cosmetic. You know, you get a measly one of them for like $30. Now, how did you unlock the Halo Free Armors, right? Um, I don't remember all of them, but I'm going to go off the top of my head. So, you could unlock EVA Armor by beating the game on normal difficulty. You unlocked, leg you unlocked the EOD Armor by completing it on Legendary. If you collected the Skulls in the campaign, which were hidden, you would unlock Hayabusa. And many other of these armors would be unlocked through achievements. These achievements, these unlocks, felt rewarding because, although it was like a unique challenge, you do something and you get something worth it, and people would know that you did that challenge. Um, and it's kind of similar to Battlefield 4. When you unlock things, you feel rewarded because the things you're unlocking actually benefit your gameplay. Here, it benefits your customization, but it's not a boring checklist. And to further prove my point that these games are focused on monetization and monetization only, look at the prices of this. This is like, I think here in Canada, this is either 30 or 40 dollars with this amount of uh, currency for Call of Duty. And what are you getting? You're getting one skin that looks like shit. You're getting two weapon skins or whatever. You're getting all the this useless weapon charms. You're getting these emotes. It's like. What does this even matter? Like, back in the old days, you could customize your emotes. And you want to know how much two, like three dollars would get you back in the day? You'd get free armor sets for Halo 4. Free armor sets. Of course, there's inflation to take into account, but this was definitely much, much cheaper. Even with inflation. So tell me. Tell me how did... Uh, just keep telling me that we grew up when there's clearly more benefits from the past. And don't get me started on the on the frickin' engagement-optimized matchmaking systems, which are designed by- they're designed to make you feel lonely. They're designed to fork as much money as you from possible. I mean, did you know that when you buy a Call of Duty bundle, you actually get to play lower skill players? So you're pretty much buying easier matches because because th that's how the engagement optimized matchmaking systems work. And it, because it pretty much psyops you into thinking that, oh, if I buy this, I'll do better. And that's the point. That's the entire point of it. And back in the day, we didn't have systems like this. We had skill-based matchmaking, not engagement optimized matchmaking, which was based on how much fun a player could have. That's what. That's one of the things that Bungie, back when they were making Halo, they focused on fun. All these developers used to focus on fun, but AAA doesn't anymore. So yes, gaming isn't fun anymore because that's not the focus. This is the focus. So to say that we just grew up is denying the issue. To say, oh, you're just playing the same game over and over again, that's just... that's. That's just getting. That's just telling people to stop caring about the issue and to let it happen. The, these things should be criticized, otherwise they will keep happening. And obviously, I do agree. You shouldn't be buying this stuff. All right, stop buying this stuff. Stop pre-ordering. Stop buying triple A. And I do agree that you should be playing more indie games. And people are. 
They are. That's why Hell Divers, well, Hell Divers is not really indie, but it's more double A. But still, Hell Divers Two, Pal World, Lethal Company. These games are doing good. People are clearly seeing that modern gaming isn't fun, and they're playing other games. And these people who defend the state of gaming and say that it's all good, they hate games like Hell Divers Two, because. They don't want the status quo to be challenged. They don't want this to be challenged or to be changed. They like the state things are in because they grew up with this. That's the truth about this all. They grew up with highly priced microtransactions and they are used to this, so they defend these systems. When they could be getting better if they just decided to join us in not playing AAA and criticizing these. Telling people to shut up does not solve the issue. And, you know, there's reasons I have people coming to me and telling me that my Halo mods, which, I'll be honest, aren't up to Bungie's quality standard, are the most fun they've had with Halo in years. There's a reason, because I focused on making fun. And these developers are not focused on having fun, they're focused on just getting their profits. That's what the focus is. Everything in-game design right now is not focused on fun. And I'm sick and tired of people telling me that it is, oh, it's just you grew up, but it's just like, no. These are real issues, and they deserve to be criticized, and, and your gaslighting isn't working anymore. The success of Helldivers, the success of many other games, have proven these people wrong. That gaming can be better, and that, you know, it has nothing to do with growing up, and I'm just... You know, I just hope this type of stuff ends soon, because I'm just like, I'm just so fed up with it. And to top it all off, this is a comment on this video. Marty O'Donnell, of all people, says that, you know, that we're correct about it, that gaming isn't fun anymore. One of the industry's, like, biggest v uh, veterans is saying this. A lot of industry game developer veterans are admitting that, you know, the state of things is not good, that they could be better. So to deny the issue, to say that things are... It's just... It's just, you know, I just don't understand it. How can you defend eating so poorly? It's just... Oh, well, I, I know the reason why, but it's, it's a lot to explain. It's not worth my time right now, but... There's, there's only two reasons I can think why. Like I said, maybe they just grew up with these games and, and like, with filled fill microtransactions, so, you know, they kind of just think that nothing's wrong with it, and they think everything's fine because they just don't know any better, and there's a another, there's another more sinister reason. Uh, it has to do with corporate chilling and all that stuff. I mean, if you didn't know, a lot of YouTubers actually get paid out to give good reviews to games. And they kind of make these slogans for the game developers to use. Or no, the publishers, not game developers. I'm sorry, I'm messing up my words here. Like I said, this isn't scripted, but... I've said my piece on this now, and, you know, there's more... I've written a whole script about this, but I'm just like... I, I You know, I got stuff to do. I got mods and games to work on. And... The takeaway I can give from this is that I think things are changing for the better now. I think AAA is going to fail going forward, and I think AA and Indies are going to do really well going forward because the people who realize gaming isn't fun right now, they realize to put their money where it actually belongs, and the shills are angry about it because they want their AAA to succeed, but it's not going to succeed. Because why play is why waste your time with a triple-A battle royale slop that barely focuses on any fun and everything's overpriced when you could be playing Helldivers, you could be playing anything else, you know? You, you could be playing one of my autistic dinosaur mods instead and having much more fun with that. And, you know, I think that says a lot. <laughs> it's, just, it's, like, it's just like, it's just Five Nights at Chica's Party World is more fun than fucking playing Call of Duty. I think that just says a lot, that, 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 that like, absolute masterpiece of, <laughs> oh my god, it's, but yeah, that's my opinion on it. And I just wanted to make this video, because I just wanted to vent that all out. It wasn't supposed to be anything professional. You know, 
I think if things get better, I won't have to say anything about this anymore, which I'm pretty sure things are going to get better. You know, I got good stuff coming up. Uh, we've got tons of cool games that are not AAA slot coming out. And I think that, you know, going forward, it, it should be better now. So I just recommend, you know, enjoying the games that respect your time. Do not give in to this slop and acknowledge that things were better than. Remember how good things used to be so you can use it as a footnote, footnote to improve the future. Um, and that's what I think about this. So thank you for taking the time to watch me make this video. I hope I actually gave a new discussion here because I didn't want to do the same video as before. Because like I said, I feel like a lot of people missed their mark on this. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you later.